living in the countryside is great. Working the land, while difficult, provides fresh air and vegetables. There's nothing quite like a cucumber, tomato, or... Dogs. So for this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, an Arduino Uno, an ultrasonic range module, a 5 volt relay, a 2N3904 transistor, a 1 kilo ohm resistor, a speaker for the Raspberry Pi 3, a solar charger, a 12 volt solenoid for water, we will get onto this later, hose pipe connectors, sprinklers, pipes, etc several USB leads for powering the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi, plenty of wire, a Tupperware container to store your project in, preferably not one with cereal in. And at last but not least, wait for it, an ungodly heavy 12 volt battery. One of those car types. All the parts of this project can be found on, link in the description below. Here is the scheme it schematic for the dog corrector. It heavily borrows from our previous project, the life cam. The heart of this project is a Raspberry Pi, which is connected to a speaker so that we can actually give our dog an audio telling off. It's also powered by a solar charge unit, which is connected to the 12 volt battery and a solar panel. The Raspberry Pi is connected to the Arduino Uno via a USB cable, which provides the Arduino Uno and all this circuitry here with power. And it also allows us to have a serial connection between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. The Arduino Uno is connected to an ultrasonic module, which allows us to take ultrasonic distance measurements so we can tell if something is coming close to our flowers or whatever it is that we're guarding. The Arduino also connects to a relay circuit, which enables power to the solenoid when we need to turn the sprinkler on. The Python code for this project is rather simple and consists of two main functions. The first function is to detect if the Arduino has sent us a message that a dog has gone too close. And if it does, then it will play the sound that tells the dog off, such as, bad dog, get off the flower bed. The second piece of code in the main while loop is used to determine what the current time is. If the current time is seven o'clock in the morning and it's within the first 15 minutes, then the system will turn the water on just so our plants can get a bit of watering. Else, it will make sure that the water's off. The Arduino code is also rather simple with the setup function configuring all the hardware and then the main loop taking ultrasonic measurements and determining if those measurements are below a threshold, i.e. if a dog has triggered the sensor, to which it will then turn the water on. The system will then look to see if data is on the serial port, and if the data on the serial port is equal to water on, it will then water the plants, which is the first 15 minutes of 7 o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, it will ensure that the water is turned off. So let's take a quick look at how we're going to plumb this project. Now, getting valves and stuff with solenoids and things can always be a little bit tricky. So I found the easy solution was to simply buy a solenoid, uh, which is designed for use of water, and it has half inch um, male connectors. Now, the reason why you want the half inch is because you can get hose connectors, which have half inch inserts. So this allows you to connect hose pipes to the solenoid like that. And you can do that for both sides. And then the plumbing situation becomes dead trivial. All you need to do now is connect this side to a hose pipe to the mains, and then this side to a sprinkler. 
So with this monstrosity built, it's time to take it outside and test it on an unsuspecting dog. Keep away from that. Off the flower bed. So now that we've built the dog corrector, we can now defend our areas in the garden, flowers, vegetable patches with ease, and we can give those dogs a bit of a sprinkling. So thank you for watching this episode of The Gentleman Maker, and see you next time. <laughs>